Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Norfolk again. And what I think is rapidly becoming one of my favourite spots for this type of photography. It rained very heavily last night, so everything's quite dark and still very wet, and has that real nice sort of damp, woody smell. So I'm hopeful that we can find some good stuff this morning. So yeah, let's go. So within about 30 seconds, I've come across a log that is absolutely smothered in these things. The only problem is going to be finding a small enough cluster that is isolated enough to make a good shot. But I'm going to have a poke around and uh, see what I can find. So I picked up this little cluster in the middle here because I think I can isolate those quite nicely. So I'm going to set the camera up and see how that looks. Okay, so here's the setup. Really simple, no extra lights camera just on a tripod pointing straight down at the subject. So looking at the back of the camera we can see a nice diagonal line formed by this greenery. Just a nice shape with these and a nice out of focus one in the background. This darker area just falls off nicely. I'm actually not sure whether I'm going to flip this the other way up once I've taken it, um, it kind of looks good both ways up. So if you see it the other way up, then I've decided to switch it the other way up. So I'm going to shoot just a single exposure, F11. I'm going to focus on this little front edge here with my pinpoint focus, just for a bit of extra fine control. And shooting a single exposure will let all these areas just stay nicely out of focus and give us a nice, nice fall off in front and behind. So, focused on that front edge there. Single exposure, F11, and I'm gonna shoot that now. Just gonna shoot another one of those. And that's it. If it looks good, here's the shot. So that unexpectedly sudden first shot is done. I've packed my stuff up. And I'm gonna shoot off and see what else I can find. So I found this white substance growing on this stick. Um, and it looks almost like tiny little snow covered mountains. So I'm gonna set the camera up and see if I can get a good shot of that. So this is the view from just above the camera. You can see I've got the LED light to the left hand side. That's set to 2700 Kelvin, just to add some warmth. And I've got a leaf placed just in front of it, which is casting a shadow across the, the foot of the little mountain, if you like. If I just move that, you can see the difference that makes. And that just stops me having a really bright, distracting area in the top left of the shot. So let's have a look through the back of the camera. Okay, looking through the back of the camera, we've got a diagonal line here, which is Kind of a nice composition. I still haven't 100% made my mind up about this shot, but we're gonna go with it anyway. So yeah, nice diagonal line there. We've got this sort of two, well, twin peaked item in the middle. Not sure what to call that. You can see the LED light coming from the side. And I'm gonna shoot a focus stack of this one. Sometimes these very light subjects against dark backgrounds are quite tricky to stack because you get a sort of blooming around the edge of the outer focus areas. But yeah, we'll go with it, see how it looks. So what I'm going to do is bring the focus towards me, not too far, probably to about there. So we're focused here, because I don't want everything in focus from this corner right back here. So yeah, I'm going to come just a little bit closer than that, perhaps. 
to try and get these little bits in focus. Maybe just a little bit more. Again, then I'm going to shoot a focus stack. I'm going to go overkill on these images again. And I'm going to go for 200, not expecting to use more than, I don't know, 20 or 30. But um, anyway, let's just check the focus again. Make sure we're happy with it down here, shooting at f8. So yeah, let's shoot the focus stack. So yeah, again, we can see I've hugely overcooked the focus stack, but that's fine. I'll just delete the ones I don't want. So what I normally do is pick out maybe every third or fourth or fifth image from the images that I've shot, the furthest apart that I can really get away with and stack those and then discard the rest. So if I decide I do like this shot after all, here it is now. Okay, that shot's done. I've packed my stuff away and I'm now going to try and find somewhere dry enough to sit down and have my lunch. Turns out, ladies and gents, there is nowhere dry to sit down, so it's a stand up lunch today. And uh, after what happened last time, I thought I'd better revert to the safety of cheese sandwiches. Okay, I'm going to wolf this down and then we'll crack on and see what else we can find. And my bread too. Right, lunch is done, coffee is done. Can you hear that aeroplane? There's always an aeroplane. Anyway, lunch is done, coffee is done, and I am on the lookout for one more good shot. So I found my next shot. It's this tiny little mushroom right on the ground in front of me. It's probably no more than about a centimetre and a half across the top. Um, I'm going to set the camera up and see how it looks. So here's the setup viewed from above. You can see the camera is actually placed on a plastic bag and balanced on a twig to get it to the right height. And the LED light is to the left, just giving a little bit of extra side light. So let's have a look at the back of the camera. So looking at the back of the camera, we can see this is a really simple shot. The camera is a bit wobbly because it's just rested on the ground. So we've got this nice diagonal line from the stem, stem or stalk, stem of the mushroom. The little cap is just picked out by the side light, against the nicely out of focus background. And we've got this nice sort of diagonal line here. So we've kind of got a cross between the mushroom there and the background there. Nicely out of focus at the back, nicely out of focus at the front. So um, yeah, I'm going to focus on this front edge. I'm going to draw the focus towards me. As I say, this is a bit wobbly because it's just rested on the ground. Then I'm going to shoot 100 images. And shoot that now. So that's it, looking at the final image in the stack, we can see the focus is well past all of the mushroom and is on these little ferns here. So we should be good for a nice focus stack. So if that shot looks okay, here it is now. So that's it, ladies and gents, uh, last shot of the day is done. And all I have to do now is remember where I left the car. So we'll see you folks next time. Cheers.